that was just a recap from the previous video now let's get into business and let's see the nightlife in Ghana so we went to this other place called the garage hey guys it was so fun no? I really enjoyed the music, the makeup, everything, the music, whatsoever. Anyway, I'm a little tired. You can know this is my woman, she's not your woman. Hold on. Yes, 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 that's how everything went and then this was the next day after exploring ghana yeah so those were our luggages and then some of us were up and down calling our colleagues like we need to rush because we are supposed to be at the airport two hours before our flight so we are just making the last touch ups here and there and also funny enough lucky enough we were at the airport and i just managed to take some few videos for these colleagues of mine because we left uh, other people behind and this is my best part for this whole journey like we all traveled on the same plane mm -hmm. so we also took some few pictures and also some videos of our passports uh, from different countries as you can see different passports but we are all one sisters in guiding and also oh, i was yes. like why should i go there taking a picture i just needed to so our fight was lady that was us now going to the bus going to the plane another journey another five hours to nairobi mm -hmm. so that was the, just the time where i settled and that was my view for that time and then the plane took off everything went so first i really loved and then i slept i just realized that okay there's just so much time to go but it was a nice experience very nice and also it was giving <laughs> i can't forget this word and this was just my first fright because i also had another fright in nairobi now going back to my home malawi uh at around 9 if not 10. and then when i reached there I actually was checking the monitors to see where my gate was. Unfortunately, the monitors changed. Like for the first time, I checked that my gate was C15. I think um, yes. So that was just the time where I was waiting for the gate to the gates to be open, uh, because it was really and then my gate was C15. But yeah, that that one. But when I was on really main with 20 minutes, when I went back to check the monitors, I saw my gate was changed to C6. So guys, Nairobi is a big airport and then I had to rush. The way I was tired, but I just thank God that I wasn't ready. I was there on time. I was just asking for directions. Oh, and then finally, I was on the plane now going home. That was my home country, Malawi, after a week in Ghana. I was so proud, happy that I'm, I'm seeing my family again. But then the other me was like, why shouldn't I just stay in, in Ghana? But anyway, that was the breakfast that I had in the, in, in the plane. Remember, um, it was also a six hours fright. So I really loved that cake. I really loved whosoever made that cake. That was, that was superb. So it was early in the morning. And I just like this whole view. It just amazed me i was like okay let me just take a picture in the video though i didn't have anyone to take a picture for me but anyway i just loved how the view was and then i landed in malawi i told my sister to take a video of me when landing at first i thought like maybe she forgot my no she understood the sign man that was me Woof, i was like okay now I'm back to Malawi. It was very cold comp uh, than compared to Ghana. Ghana was very hot. And somehow uh, I adapted the hotness. But anyway, it was just a nice one. This time around, I shouldn't say that I miss my home that much because it was just a week anyway. So a week wasn't that bad, like to the extent that I was overjoyed, like something like that. But anyway, family is family in the week, a day or two family is the best i really missed them all of them so this is the best feeling that i usually have whenever i'm coming back home like to see the faces the happy faces the hugs everything the everything it's just amazed me so that's how i arrived in malawi so thank you guys for always being there watching liking subscribing commenting to my videos i hope you have learned two or three things in my videos um 
yeah so in short that's how the train in ghana went so far i really appreciate you guys so be on the lookout now that i'm back in malawi there's more content more beautiful process to watch be there be on the lookout yeah so have a sneak peek of how everything went the free time at night, at, at night. A trip to Salima, the sunrise, the beauty, the fun. <laughs>